In this video, I'm going to be sharing what my personal favorite transition from summer into fall nail polishes are. Some of these polishes aren't exactly, you know, I'm going to say kind of soft in color, but they're things that I like to wear. So let's get started with the Orleys. So this first polish is Orly's Dreamers Awaken, or Dreamers Awake. This is from the Orly 2022 Fall Collection. It's just a really, really pretty gray color. And I also was like, super excited to get this color in the color pass because I've been wanting a new gray polish. So I was very excited to see this. This is the color and what it looks like on. I find it's easier to do this against my thumbnail. Really, really pretty gray, and obviously gray goes with about anything. All right, so the next polish is Orly's. This is what it looks like. It's like an, like a, I wanna say like a soft ivory type color. I've been wearing this one a lot in designs, and this is also from the exact same fall collection. I love Essie's Fiji. Fiji is by far one of my all-time favorite light pink polishes. And in my opinion, when it comes to wearing your favorite colors, it doesn't matter what season you're in because they're always going to be in style. So I wear this one quite often and I love this. Uh, I think I got this at, a, I got this at, I think it was Target or Meyer, but you can get these off Amazon, I believe. I will link everything, the polishes that I'm showing in the description box in case anyone's curious. This next polish is a sheer one called Mademoiselle, and it's what it looks like. It's just a very, very sheer pink, and this is good for those of us who don't want to wear nail polish, but they don't want to wear a natural, or they don't want to wear their nails naked, as they say. So this is a really pretty sheer pink to add a little bit of like a healthy glow to your nails. Um, this is also really, really pretty as a background to a French tip if you wanted to do that. One is Zoya's Austin. This is a really pretty, I want to say like periwinkle denim blue. I don't really know how to describe this one. And uh, I can't remember which collection this was in. It was in one of the newer collections, but I can't remember which one. This is Cami. Cami is a really pretty, I want to say like rosy neutral shade. And I actually have been trying out some different designs with this one with rose gold. It's very, very pretty, the Zoya's Rue. Now this polish was in a collection from a few years ago. I don't, I don't remember what collection it was in, but this is just a really, really pretty rosy, um, I want to say neutral again. This is a really great color if you are trying to grow your nails out too. This is actually, I think, one of my mom's favorite nail polishes because it's how soft and subtle it is. This also looks really, really pretty with some uh, rose gold glitter over it. Boy, is Kaylee, and I actually just had this one on a few days ago, and I absolutely loved it. Kaylee is just a really pretty neutral, like, purplish, uh, grayish type color. This so this next one is Val. Now, this one I know for sure was in the Darling collection, which was, I believe it was the spring 2021. And this is a really pretty light blue. Um, really, really pretty. Again, it looks great on both long nails, short nails, toes, everything. Zoya's blue. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes. I've worn this on my toes a bunch this year. And it's just a really, really pretty soft blue because if you wanna go a little bit more muted but you don't wanna go too extreme, this is a really, really pretty color to wear. And I love this one. Boya's Yasmin. This is a polish that I have been wearing for, I want to say, like close to six or seven years now. I love this polish. It is a beautiful, beautiful deep blue, deep blue, deep purple. One of the reasons why I love this one is that in direct sunlight or in harsh lighting, it has a, a glitter, like a sparse glitter effect. But when you put shade on it it has this chrome powder effect I think it's really really pretty all right this next one is Zoya's Lottie I have no idea what collection this came in I had a pretty soft I want to say like I don't even know what type of like gold to describe this as but it's a really really pretty one and I actually had this one over was, I think it was this one I had this one over like a uh, neutral base for one of my designs 
and it was such a pretty very soft subtle sparkle this one is just one of my all-time favorite uh, polishes to wear in general it's very very soft very very soft this will look so pretty with some like rose gold glitter on top but i pretty much just wear it on its own so this next polish is zoya's gwen now i do i do know that this was in i think one of the recent this was actually i think in the spring collection of 2022 this is a really pretty pink and I actually have been wearing this one in some of my designs. It's really, really pretty. It's a very, very pretty backdrop. It kind of has like a uh, grayish hinge, to, like a grayish tinge to it. This next one is Zoya's Shannon. Now this one was in the pink palette collection that came out around Mother's Day. This is what I'm going to call a lipstick type pink. This is very, very pretty. Lastly is Zoya's Barrett. This I do know was in the Zoya 2020 natural collection i believe and i don't really know how to describe this one i'm gonna say like a purplish taupey type color this is really really pretty i have really been into these like taupey colors recently i don't know why but again when you're when i'm transitioning from summer into fall when it comes to my nails i prefer to go more on the neutral more on the calming side because i just got out of doing all of the bright fun colorful designs with summer and now i'm getting ready to transition from that into pumpkin spice so these are just really pretty these are all just really really pretty colors to wear if you're needing help with inspiration for that